Hello everyone and welcome back to Get to Know Hospitality Heroes. Today I'm pleased to be joined by Stuart Burkwood, who's the curator slash general manager of Radisson Red. So thank you for joining us, Stuart. It's a pleasure, James. Great to be on. Thanks for the invite. You're more than welcome. So before joining Radisson Hotel Group, Stuart has held numerous positions in the hospitality industry with 11 years of experience in the Middle East. Uh, most recently, he was Cluster General Manager with Marriott in Dubai and has held positions of General Manager roles with Starwood in Abu Dhabi and also Saudi Arabia. So to get to know you a little bit better, I'm going to ask you a mix of questions today. So are you ready to get started? Let's do it, James. Deep breath and uh, yeah, let's kick off. Ready to go. Be kind, don't worry. Okay, oh, don't so be firstly... kind. Don't be kind, mate. Don't be kind. Let's have fun. <laughs> Firstly, I'm going to ask you, um, how and why did you choose your career in hospitality? Uh, how and why? Um, I think like a, a lot of people who fall into hospitality, should we use those words? Um, I, mean, I, uh, I enjoyed school, but I enjoyed more of the sport than the academic side. And uh, when I got into A-level studies, I, I seemed to enjoy more finding out about the local hostilleries where I lived than actually being in the classroom. So bottom line is I, I messed up my A-levels, uh, needed something to do, um, went to do, do a, an OND, a BTEC at Newcastle College uh, in, in hotels because uh, I always wanted to travel. Uh, I always wanted to, to see the world, do something different. And I thought, you know, what a good job that would be, you know, getting into hotels. I had no idea what it was going to be like, but I thought to uh, to travel, and that's uh, that's how I got into it. Got on the BTEC course, and yeah, I didn't look back and started the usual thing of doing some work in, in bars and pubs, and yeah, I just found out that it was something I love to do. Great. So if you were if you were looking back, and if you were to have a conversation with your sixteen year old self now, what would you say? <laughs> Good question, considering I just sent my 16-year-old uh, this morning to school in sixth form for the first time. Um, James, I'd probably tell myself to, to chill out a little bit, to be honest, not, not take myself too seriously, and, um, and be able to laugh at yourself. I think um, I had some good advice from a, a colleague of mine who actually is just retired in, in the hotel business after many, many years in HR. And I remember she said once, you know, Stuart, you, just, you should relax a little bit. Don't be, don't be so uptight, you know. Um, and I think that's what I'd say to myself. Just relax, uh, have fun, uh, don't be serious, laugh at yourself. And if you can do that, then, then other people will, will relax around you. And I think in our industry, you need to be relaxed because if you're not relaxed having fun, then the guests uh, are not going to be relaxed having fun. So that's probably what I'd say, James. Yeah, important to keep a cool head in hospitality, a lot of pressure around you. Very much so. Yeah. So what's the, what's the proudest moment in your career? Um, I think the proudest me, James, all revolve around um, the people. I think uh, the people that you work with and, and uh, the many colleagues that you have. And I think it's always a proud moment when you see people in, in their careers develop. Yeah, I think um, when you see, especially and it's it's good, it's easy to follow that now because with all of the social media channels, whether it's LinkedIn or Facebook or Twitter, you can follow what your former colleagues are doing. And when you see them grow and develop into into bigger and better careers, um, it's always a proud moment. And for me, also, I've been involved in quite a few openings, whether it's hotels or restaurants or even even some theme parks in a past life. And that opening of a business um, is, is always very proud because there's a lot of hard work, sweat and tears goes into a pre-opening and then an opening, James. So yeah. um, I was fortunate enough in a, in a prior life to open um, a Kidzania project in Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. Uh, it's a unique brand and uh, very cool. And, and of that team of those 300 associates, 95% were, were Saudi females, which at that point was a, was a big step forward in the in the hospitality business in Saudi, and we had a we had a great opening, and I think that would always be a very very fond memory of mine. Uh, it was it was a great a great uh, a great opening. Very good. So I'm sure you don't get too many days off. Um, I know you're a very busy man. But <laughs> what does your what does your dream day off look like? Uh, it's usually pretty quiet. 
to be honest, James, um, you know, I think, you know, we spend so many, so many of our hours with people and around people. For me, a, a dream day off is a, is a quiet time with the family, um, with my wife and my two boys, 16 and, and 12, and um, probably watching them doing something, some sporting activity somewhere quite often on the weekend. And James, to be honest, uh, going to the cinema. You know, as I said, we uh, we lived in, in Riyadh for seven years, seven wonderful years. Uh, we had a great time in Riyadh, great place to live, but there was no cinemas at that time. So we went pretty much for seven years without seeing a, without seeing a movie. So if we can get to a movie on a Friday or a Saturday here in Dubai, then actually, you know, that's pretty much still a great weekend for us. So going to the movies is a, is a privilege and we uh, appreciate it more now. We, we appreciate it a lot more, James. So that would be a quiet weekend and a, and a, a movie. That would be perfect. Very nice. Doesn't sound too bad. Um, so you touched on this a little bit earlier, but what is the, what's the best piece of career advice you've received? Um, yeah, I, I think um, the best piece I, w- I was given was a, a mentor of mine um, who uh, is, just, is just moving from Dubai now, uh, Michael Whale, who is, is with Kersner and was with Starwood for many years. So Michael spoke to me in the early 2000s. I was an F&B guy, deputy GM, trying to be a GM. Um, and, he, and he said to me, I needed to diversify my, my career a little bit and get out of my comfort zone. And I was very much F and B, F and B, F and B had been my background. So he um, he navigated me into an area of the business at that time, uh, which was Six Sigma quality improvement, and it took me for for three years into other areas of our business, uh, into reservations, into revenue, sales, marketing, engineering, front office. It really gave me a um, a, a much more diverse. Um, personality and, and made me a better a better manager I think because I was able to touch different areas of the business so I think that was the best advice you know get out of your comfort zone do something different um, and develop yourself to make you a, a more sellable product I suppose when you're looking for that next step in your career what what can you bring to the table that, that is better than what you what you had before and it was definitely uh, a great piece of advice and something that I uh, I thank him for many times when I when I see him that sounds like very good advice indeed um, okay well thank you very much for your time today Stuart it's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you and um, we really hope to see you at the hotel show in Dubai next year and uh, congratulations again on the launch of Radisson Red um, and we're really looking forward to coming and seeing the property Thank you, James. It's been great speaking to you, and I'm uh, looking forward to the show. It'll be uh, it'll be a great one, I'm sure. Thank you. Perfect. Thanks very much, Joe.